Hi everybody, my name's Rachel and I'm going to be reading a story for you for the lovely Land Little Library. This one's called The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. There it is. I'm going to keep the book in front of me because I'm going to do something quite special for you. I'm going to sign some of the words for you. Not all of them. Um, I teach baby sign language to toddlers and families in the Shrewsbury areas and baby as well. Um, and it's to encourage and enhance speech and language development. So that's why I'm not going to sign every single word. Um, I've got these characters here just to help me out a little bit. So hopefully you can see all the different ones. Oh, I've got Gruffalo though, so Gruffalo. There we go with these terrible tusks. Let's start. If you're sitting comfortably, let's begin. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. Oh, it's terribly kind of you, Fox. But no, I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why? Didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth inside of his jaws. Where are you meeting him? Oh, here by this fox. And his favorite food is roasted fox. <gasps> roasted fox, I'm off, said fox. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. <laughs> Silly old fox. Doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Hoo hoo, where are you going to little brown mouse? Hoo hoo, come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you owl. But no, I'm going to have tea with a Gruffalo. Oh, a Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why? Didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Oh, where are you meeting him? Oh, here by this stream and his favourite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? Twit woo! Goodbye little mouse and away owl flew. <laughs> Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh let's see what happens little mouse. Here we go. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Sss, where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. Oh, it's wonderfully good if you steak, but no. I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. Sss, a Gruffalo. What? Sss, a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? Why? Didn't you know? His eyes are orange and his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Sss, where are you meeting him? Oh, here by this lake and his favourite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake. It's time I hit. Goodbye little mouse. And away snake slid. Oh, bye snake. A silly old snake. Doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffle. Oh! oh dear mouse, what's happened? 
but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth inside of his jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange and his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh, no! It's a gruffalo! Hmm, my favourite food, the gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. All right, said Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said Mouse. Why, Snake? Hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse and off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. Oh, it's Owl, said the Mouse. Why, hello Owl. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, hello, Fox. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy's beginning to rumble. And my favourite food is Gruffalo Crumble. <gasps> Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said. And quick, and quick as the wind. <laughs> He turned and he fled. Dear. Oh. Now all was quiet in the deep, dark wood. Mouse found a nut and the nut was good. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh. Mouse got very brave towards the end of that story, didn't he? He started off with a very quiet voice and then got louder when he met the Gruffalo trying to make himself sound brave and big. So lots of different creatures that we met today. I hope you really enjoyed hearing that story and you can follow along with some of the signs. So lots of different signs. So we've got Mouse, squeak, squeak, squeak. We had the owl, twit, twoo, and of course, oh, lovely, bright orange fox. So fox a long snout. And then of course, the slithery, slithery snake. So there we go. And then of course, the big star of the book, which was the Gruffalo. If you think about the terrible tusks, 
there we go so have fun with that story and i hope you really enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye bye